We have spent one month in Myanmar, traveling to seven different animal shelters in both Yangon and Mandalay. We've spoken to many locals about their animal welfare situation and also spoken to the shelters themselves about what they're doing and their expenditure. As in most countries in Southeast Asia, Myanmar have a really high population in stray dogs, estimated at 4 million. In order to keep the population under control, the government are trying to poison the dogs on the street. In Yangon alone, they were trying to poison 2,500 dogs in one month. Other major threats for the dogs are car accidents, disease, severe abuse and neglect. Shelters and organisations throughout Myanmar are trying to tackle this by doing a different approach, which is the TNR programme, which basically means trap, neuter and release. It's a better way, more ethical way of controlling the population of street dogs in Myanmar. But fortunately funds are very little and there is almost zero support from the government. So before we get into it, we just want to let you know that some of this footage may be emotional, may make you upset, so we're just giving you a little warning. We understand that this footage won't be easy for some people to watch, just like some of it wasn't easy for us to see with our own eyes, but we do encourage you to watch it to the end to see exactly what each of the individual shelters are doing for the animals here in Myanmar. And at the end of this video, we've included a few of the stories which have really touched us the most. And if you'd like to help, we've linked a fundraising site in the description down below. We'd really appreciate your help and so would the dogs of Myanmar. Any amount is greatly appreciated and especially because in Southeast Asia the smallest amount goes such a long way. Yangon Animal Shelter This shelter has 600 dogs and is honestly probably one of the best shelters we visited in Myanmar. It's located the furthest out of Yangon in a really quiet area on three acres of land that has been donated. It seems to be really well funded with all of their dogs sterilized, vaccinated, dewormed and flea treated. It's also split up into nine different sections. For the dogs in recovery and treatment, there are good sized enclosures in the main area. All of the dogs look to be in really good condition and love to welcome new people into their home. The puppies and the paralysed dogs have their own space and there is even a training room for the dogs that are going to be adopted. They have four beautifully sweet paralysed dogs which have unfortunately all been hit by a car causing the paralysis. Yangon Animal Shelter also rehomes dogs overseas with their adoption program and they welcome volunteers and visitors. Golden Heart Animal Rescue Out of all the shelters we have seen, this is the one that we believe needs the most support. This shelter is situated not far outside of Yangon on a one and a half acre plot of land. It's currently home to over 600 dogs, 100 cats, 15 pigs, 4 cows, 1 monkey and 1 rabbit. Out of the 600 dogs, 70 of these dogs are paralysed, with only half living in a large enclosure, the other half are living in cages. They are desperate for at least one new tiled enclosure to be built. Most dogs are free to roam around the land, but many are stuck in small cages due to illness. 
There are many dogs here fighting cancer. A couple are now fully recovered. Mothers with their newborns. Dogs recovering from abuse. Dogs recovering from amputated limbs and new arrivals who are awaiting sterilization and vaccination. They are also housing high energy pure breed dogs like a pack of 20 Dalmatians, one German Shepherd, one Hound and two Golden Retriever all of which need sterilising and space to run. The place is very run down and needs a lot of work doing, including building new enclosures to allow dogs to have their own space instead of being confined. The monkey has been confined to this cage for six months because there is no space or funds for a monkey enclosure. So this is probably the most difficult place we've been to. There's over 70 disabled dogs, a lot of missing limbs, a monkey, lots of cats, huge amount of disease, mange, skin problems. Um, and it's, I think it's a work in progress and they're tidying up and you can just see how dirty it is here. So it's not, it's not a haven for dogs, but they're, they're doing what they can with what they've got. And they do generally care the woman who we're speaking to really love the dogs but she just hasn't got the funds or the support that she needs so we're going to look and see what we can do for her in the future. Pearl Heart Animal Shelter Not far from Golden Heart Rescue is Pearl Heart Shelter. The land that this shelter stands on is about the same size as Golden Heart, the previous shelter we showed you. But instead, Pearl Heart has only 350 dogs. All of their dogs are sterilised and vaccinated, and most of the dogs seem really happy and very healthy. They have many locals that come each week to donate money and rice. They have a few small enclosures housing solo dominant males, but all the other dogs have free run of the property. There is also a separated puppy enclosure for all the dogs that are too small to be combined with the other adults. Better Life Animal Shelter this is the closest shelter to Yangon, but they have plans to move to a bigger plot of land in a few months. Founded in 2014, they now house 130 dogs, with their main focus on disabled dogs. They have 60 dogs who are paralysed. 
seven dogs that can't stand at all. Dogs who have had to have a limb amputated and some have survived disease. Eight of their dogs are also completely blind. All of their dogs are vaccinated and most of their dogs are sterilized. It's run by a beautiful lady who is so passionate and really cares about her dogs. Royal Heart Animal Shelter. Situated 50 kilometres outside of Mandalay, Royal Heart Animal Shelter is home to 600 dogs. Whilst we were visiting, no one could really speak any English and they would only allow us to visit one half of the shelter. It's only a small bit of land housing all of these dogs, with not much separation, meaning adults, puppies, and a mother with her newborns were all in the same area. If translation was correct, only 100 of their dogs are sterilized, but there is a vet volunteer program going there in a few months. Mandalay Animal Shelter. This is the smallest shelter we visited, which is home to only 70 dogs. All of the dogs inside the shelter seem to all be sterilised. There was only one lady caring for them all, but she wasn't the owner. She was very caring of all the dogs, but definitely has her work cut out. They have a few areas sectioned off for puppies and there are quite a few dogs that surround the outside who are not sterilised. I don't think many people come here to visit as many of the dogs are very shy and seem to be scared of new visitors. The lady here didn't speak any English, so our taxi driver told us some information.
The Lovely Lady on Her Own We stumbled upon this shelter while searching for Mandalay Animal Shelter as it's really close by. This shelter doesn't have a name, but instead is run by a lovely lady who funds it by herself. All of her dogs are sterilised and vaccinated, and she has a vet that comes twice a month to sterilise in the community, which luckily we went on the right day. We did have more footage, but unfortunately we lost it and were unable to recover it. Thank you very much for watching. We know it wasn't easy to see. And like we said at the start, if you would like to help us and donate into our fundraiser, we've left the link in the description box below. I just want to thank you again, and we're going to leave you with some of the dog stories that touched us the most. Thank you.